Hey guys, it's um, already kind of like at May 7th or 8th right now. Um, give, you, give you a quick update. Um, right now I am at my cousin's place in Houston. And today we didn't do much but eat. <laughs> Had uh, a lot of good Asian food. Been missing that on the, the trip. So um, they took us out. And we had Korean barbecue. Uh, we also had uh, some Cajun food, like crawfish and uh, and whatnot. So, yeah, just been a very relaxing day of prepping. But tomorrow we will be going into the John Ritter Research Program or Foundation to present the check. So that's going to happen at 11 o'clock. So I'm going to have uh, saying come with a camera and uh, film it. Just been a very relaxing day. I feel very grateful to have family in this part of the world and um, glad to be able to uh, spend time with them uh, as well as uh, enjoy some really good food. Okay, we are walking over to present the check. Just uh, finished working over at the Starbucks over here. And uh, yeah, this is it. This is the time for us to uh, present half of our donation on your behalf. So thank you guys for your help and everything. supporters who we've never even met have uh, donated to the, you know, the foundation as wow. well. And um, yeah, it was through YouTube and people we haven't even talked to. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Very welcome. This is wonderful. It's an honor to write yeah. on, on, on your yeah. behalf here. Yeah. And all the stuff you guys have been doing here, I've been, um, it's, it's been a good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Hopefully yes. saving lives. Yes, exactly. And thank you for what you're doing. Yeah, you're tell me welcome. about your dad. What um, 2012, uh, Thanksgiving morning, um, you know, he, prior to that he was complaining about like back pain, um, and his back, like for maybe a good week before. And you know, we, we thought it was just regular, like he's he been exercising yeah. or whatever. And so, um, the morning of it, you know, it, I, I guess it ruptured, his, mm -hmm. his aorta ruptured. We had no idea. Uh, get a call from my sister who I think my mom had called first. And so we all rushed back home and um, where they live. Essentially, they, they've already taken him into the hospital and they were waiting for his blood pressure to go down before they do any scanning. But I think by that time it was like, they couldn't, it was already too late. Yeah. So that was 2012 and um, yeah, it's been a, a, a rough, couple of years uh, mm -hmm. just trying to make 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 sense of everything and so around 2013 I reached out to um, uh, the person here Tracy I believe. Tracy yeah. yes she she kind of talked to talked to me about a little bit more about uh, aortic dissection because yeah. I wanted to know more about it as well and um, she sent over a couple of information and had me um, go and see the doctor to ask to ask for a CT scan as well as uh, echocardiogram mm -hmm. Fast forward 2014, I uh, had an idea like maybe we ride across country to kind of promote. That's crazy. Crazy <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah, just kind of promote that. And, um, you know, my brother in law came along. And you Are know, you riding too or yes. driving? No, I'm riding. Oh, you're riding yeah, too. Riding. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we're both <laughs> wow. in like big. We carry, we're carrying everything. No, nothing like no one's really supporting us in that sense. Oh, so, so nobody's falling alone no, no, in a car. No, just in case you ever have a broken tire. Yeah, yeah, we we, we we deal with it on our own. Mm -hmm. yeah.
Hey guys, thanks for watching this video and um, going with me to uh, visit the John Ritter uh, Research Foundation. Um, this day was actually incredibly important for me to actually meet the people who are, you know, doing what they can to help um, detect and possibly prevent this, uh, this rare disease. Um, I mean, they were telling me that it is the fourth, 14th or 15th leading uh, death among Americans. A lot of the time, uh, a acute aortic dissection is mistaken for heart attacks. And so I think just to be safe out there, if you guys have relatives who have passed away because of heart attacks or heart related issues, and, um, and you might think it is related to the, aor the aorta dissecting, I, I'd recommend having um, yourself checked out. Um, the two tests you should really uh, have the doctors, the cardiologists check out is called an echocardiogram as well as a CT scan of the heart just to make sure you're not um, at any risk and um, if you do have family history of uh, this disease like I do uh, I would recommend getting checked three to five months so that's really important just to be do more preventative making sure that you're you're in good health Anyways, um, yeah, thanks for watching and thank you all who have contributed to this, this uh, campaign. Um, I couldn't have done it without you guys. It's amazing. We've raised uh, close to $2,000 alone just for this. And um, also wanted to mention that this is not where it ends. Uh, we're gonna keep on writing and I think we're gonna let the campaign run for an additional month after we're done with the ride. So, maybe uh, close it out by either the end of June or early July, so I haven't figured that out. Um, yeah, thank you again from the bottom of my heart. You guys have been such great um, contributors, both my friends and people I have never met before. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say any more than that. Um, you guys are, have been so great and following with on, you know, on our journey here um, across the country here, so. With that, um, we'll continue our ride and hopefully you'll join us on more of these vlogs. <laughs>